in CADWORK 3, if you want to insert an image in your 3D model, there is different ways. Let's check the first one. First, you will need to add a surface. I'm just here going to add a surface, no matter its material. And here I'm just going to draw a surface of any shape or size. Once the surface has been added, you will simply need to select it and go to Modify. And here you will see the option Bitmap Image. Here you can use the option, for example, Automatic. You will then be able here to browse through your through your computer and import your image. When you import an image, it will automatically stretch to the surface you are adding it, adding it onto. If you need to change its orientation, you can simply go back to Modify, Bitmap, and Mirror. If you still don't have the right orientation, simply rotate the, the surface as you would do normally in Cataract 3D. In this case here, we would like to, for example, resize this surface to not have a stretched image. In that case, we can use on surface the stretch command. The stretch command on surface is pretty useful because you can actually select an edge. So this one would be my active edge and I can stretch it back pretty easily. For this, I simply need to press 7 to stretch and by default, it wants to stretch along that line. But here I can simply use K for border. By default, it's going to select my active edge. If needed, I can select more than one. I'm just going to select this one and continue with the right click. Then you can either select a point where this line should be stretched to or in my case here, we are going to use a value. Since I want to stretch it back, meaning towards or reduce its size, I need to use a negative value, so minus 20 feet. And automatically, my image is going to be resized correctly. There is one other way to add image. So here, if I go back to modify, bitmap, I can easily delete this bitmap and manual, select this. It's going to ask me for a first point of insertion of the reference edge, so lower edge of image. So here, if I click, for example, this one, my work will be returned in the other way. So this allows you a better orientation of your image, not having it simply placed into the surface for you then to change the orientation of your surface by rotating it or by mirroring the image as I just showed you. This one can be pretty useful. Then, we can also use to insert an image the material. But here there is a difference. When using bitmap, the image, as we've seen, is resized according to the, to the size of the surface we place it onto. If you assign an image as texture of a material, we are actually going to create like a mosaic using that image. If I were to change here the material currently used, so my material called undefined, I could modify this directly from the material dialog under diverse undefined and here using the representation tab and opening the texture. This is where you can normally select additional texture to replace how your material looks like. But here we are going simply to import the texture from a file. Going to import the exact same image we were using earlier and pressing OK. Since this material is already used in the 3D, it wants to know if we should update the existing element. Just going here to say yes. One thing that is important when working with such uh, textures, when you work with a volume, for example, a beam or a panel, the texture will be used for each face. 
uh, so it's not going to wrap around your beam it's going to use for each face it's going to use that image so here let's go and press ok to see the result as you can see here it's simply a, a mosaic you cannot set really a starting point it's simply going to add that image like, like that and fill up that surface if of course you stretch that surface 7 K confirm and here 10 feet you see that the text doesn't change sizes it comes directly at the scale of the image you actually imported and if you want to change the thing here you can since the texture is always oriented according to uh, to the element itself uh, this is something that you can you can change its orientation either along the length or the width this is something that you can do directly from the material dialog and this will of course affect all the elements using this texture or if you have specific needs for specific element you can simply select it and go directly to the modify menu texture and transparency and here change the way this texture is applied to that specific element so for example here if I rotate and change for example the zoom I will have a different of course result so those are the two ways to import an image in color 3d the first one should really be used when you want to add an actual image to one of your of your model either to add your brand to add the logo to your uh, your own logo directly within the model or even if you would like to do some rendering and add some architectural features such as uh, I don't know painting TV screens all these kind of things with a fixed image of a specific size the second option here that we used when we assign an image to a texture this can be used when um, actually when you want to have like your your brand showing for example uh, on your house wrap or uh, a specific panel texture anything like this just keep in mind that when you create textures with an image actually the you won't be able to create texture as we have in CADWORK meaning for example for beams with end grain the same texture or the same image is going to be used for all different faces here if I were to show you this and convert this image into a beam or a volume you can go here to modify option and if I were simply to convert this uh, surface here to a, to a beam a panel or an auxiliary element going here simply to select auxiliary element normal to one side and here let's say like five feet thick so here you see that each each face will have the texture and there is no wrapping around it's simply each face is considered uh, independently uh, with this so keep this in mind if using that I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.